92.7 Jack FM, good morning. From Julie Sweet Shop, it's our Centennial Bank Breakfast Club. And we're glad to have you back on board with us here for our final segment this morning. And, uh, man, we got a great segment here lined up for you from uh, the good folks with uh, Brady's Battle. Now, Scott Robinette joins us here this morning. And, uh, Scott, tell us a little bit about Brady's journey and kind of a little bit about why something like what we're putting together here uh, is so important. Because it goes much more than just the on Brady's journey. That's right. That's right. First of all, thanks for having me. We, Brady, uh, my son was 16 on 24. We found out that he was diagnosed with hemophilia. Uh, uh, we started uh, the chemia, I mean, uh, chemo treats one week uh, after that on the and uh, he had three rounds of chemo, uh, they, and they found a, a test, a traditionally extra test for studies uh, that we found out later was, was funded by the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society that shortened his hospital trip, the chemo treatment, uh, by probably, he would have gone, he would probably would still be in the hospital right now or recovering from the bone marrow transplant. But basically, that dictated that we could go get a bone marrow transplant. We were 102 days. Um, you know, so we had, we were, we were passing each other yeah. interstate yeah. and back and forth. And it was, it was just an incredibly tough deal. But that's why my wife and I decided that we wanted to get involved with LLS because they helped, they helped fund those research studies. That, but they also, more importantly, just as importantly, I think, they help people financially. If they know that somebody can't make their mortgage payment or their house payment, or just to be honest with you, they say that uh, the nurses and doctors say they keep miss treatments because they can't pay gas. They, they can't put gas in their car or miss their jobs. So they're very involved with that. And we saw it, I mean, it's, uh, honestly, yeah, way more than we wanted to because. People didn't have money to eat. They did. They would. They would come and, and get groceries out of the uh, nursing rooms that were, frankly, for the patients. Right. So we just felt convicted to, to help. And yeah. I just can't think of a better way to help the people in the Boma Society than get involved. We were in a fundraiser. That's the first part of the year. Right. Uh, and we raised over. I think by by. My sister-in-law's team raised one hundred and six thousand dollars. Yeah, so that was that was a huge blessing. Uh, so that's why we're involved. Now, tell us about uh, Brady's status right now. Oh my God! Uh, yeah, he, he, I tell you what, the, the doctors are floored at his progress because he played baseball for Conway High. Of course, we they won the state championship. He he. He sometimes so played four games a week, and he's worked very, very hard. Uh, but he, he got to play with his brother. Yeah, uh, that was a ninth grader, and that was a huge play. Hit his first home run. I mean, it just—it's just storybook. Yeah, you know. So absolutely, we're we're just so thankful. God's been so good. Uh, to us in, in, in particular break. When we look at uh, ways in which we can continue to fund LLS, uh, one of those is through a golf tournament. Yep. And uh, Carl's here to tell us a little bit about uh, that and uh, how people can be involved in helping out. Yeah, so um, uh, Scott and I, we, uh, we we graduated high school together. We went to high school down at Stuttgart, even though he's a couple years younger than I am. Still went to high school together. And I work for a company here in, uh, in Conway with Surpro and Terry and Tasha Hammond, who own Surpro, they also graduated from Stuttgart. So it's kind of a... Uh, and uh, a little bit of connection right there as well. But but I, I followed Brady's story uh, on Scott's uh, Facebook page, and I was just so moved by it. And I lost my dad three years ago to cancer. So I was really moved by, by the story. And uh, so I just went to Scott, and uh, I wanted to do uh, some, some social media content on it, and I did Brady's story. But I wanted to do it in a different way. Where it's like, um, you know, his, uh, how he overcame it, great story, and everybody talked about it. But I also wanted to go in so I can do it now. Right. It's a great battle. Right. So we came up with this golf tournament. Um, we put it together. It's on September the 26th. Uh, all the proceeds will go to the uh, LLS. And um, it's at the Centennial Golf Course. 
Uh, we actually have a website, Brady'sBattles.org, uh, that has all the information on there. You can even go on there and sign up. Okay. Uh, so it's it's just a great event. We're doing uh, Cranky. It was nice enough. We're going to do a whole in one contest. And then uh, Cliff Lee is also going to come down and he's going to participate. We're having a uh, bid where uh, players can bid and have uh, Cliff as a fifth teammate on there, too. So we've got a lot of good stuff going on with this. A lot of things happening. It's going to be happening uh, at, uh, like I say, at Centennial. And uh, the date again on that is September the 26th at Centennial Golf Course, a four-man scramble opportunity to raise funds. And also as a part of that day is uh, an opportunity to see if maybe you could be a bone marrow match yourself. That's right, right yeah. Uh, well, me the match is the bone marrow match program. And it's very simple. We'll have them there. We're going to, all it is is a simple swap. If you're under 50, call it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, if you're under 50, you can go. It's just a simple swab of the inside of your mouth, and it's it's just vitally important to do that. That uh, do that, and also go get blood, go get the platelets, because there's when we were there, they had a two-day supply of blood, and uh, it's terrifying yeah. if you don't know that you're. It's going to have blood right. because his, 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 and, and platelets because yeah. he could bleed out and he right. don't not have enough blood. So uh, it's just super important. As a matter of fact, on a side note, we just had Brady, uh, bone marrow donor. We flew him into town last awesome. week and he got to meet Brady. Just a huge blessing. Oh, yeah. So selfless and you he, he saved my son's life. Yeah. You know, so. That's awesome. That's awesome. Once again, more information at Brady'sBattle.org. The golf tournament coming up at Centennial Golf Course on September the 26th. Uh, there's opportunities for you to give uh, as a uh, company, to be involved in sponsorship of that as well. And so you'll find all that opportunity. Guys, thank you so much for coming in this morning. And uh, we continue to let people know about what's going on. And it's Brady's Battle. Well, our battle's not done. We're just coming to keep things on rolling as we continue to get through the day here today. Uh, once again, thanks to uh, Julie Sweet Shop at Centennial Bank for making it possible to be here on this Wednesday morning. And we'll be be back with you next Wednesday morning here at 92.7 at Jack FM with the Centennial Bank Breakfast Club from Julie Sweet Shop. Good job.